Hi guys, today we are going to learn about losses in transformers. Okay, so losses are major losses and minor losses. Okay, so major losses are again categorized into iron losses and copper losses. While designing the transformer, will keep these major losses in our mind okay so the major losses are iron losses and copper losses iron losses and copper losses again iron losses in the sense these losses will occur in the magnetic core of the transformer Iron losses will occur in the magnetic core of the transformer. Okay, so these losses are hysteresis loss. Iron losses are hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. Eddy current loss. Okay, so hysteresis loss is due to the hysteresis loss is due to the reversal of magnetization reversal of magnetization and the eddy current loss is due to some circulating currents some circulating currents flowing through the magnetic core of the transformer generally the magnetic core of the transformer is having some conductivity magnetic core is having some conductivity so due to that conductivity some amount of current will flow through the magnetic core that will result in production of circulating currents okay so these hysteresis losses and eddy current losses will come under iron loss to reduce the iron losses what we are doing is we are using crgo steel we are using crgo steel okay next copper losses copper losses takes place in the transformer windings copper losses will takes place in the windings of transformer windings of transformer see these losses will occur mainly due to winding resistance only winding resistance only okay so in general uh, i will discuss uh, the iron losses and the copper losses these two losses in two separate videos okay so it is uh, somehow we have to study these concepts okay so i will discuss iron losses and copper losses separately in some other video okay and next the minor losses are strain load losses the minor losses are strain load losses so strain load losses in the sense these losses will takes place in the iron and copper parts copper iron and copper parts in the sense simply uh, these losses will occur in nuts and bolts and some other uh, material which we use in general for the uh, connecting the magnetic core of the transfer okay so strain load losses are strain load losses are categorized into two types so one is one loss will occur in copper and iron parts one loss will occur in copper and iron parts and another losses will occur in insulating materials okay so see here uh, generally we have copper losses copper losses in addition to those copper losses here we have copper strain load losses copper strain load losses in the sense these are the losses which occur in the parts of transformer parts of transformer okay and one more thing is 
strain losses are strain load losses are minor losses minor losses generally while studying the transformer we'll ignore the strain load losses ignore we'll ignore the strain load losses okay so this is about losses and next thing is in insulating materials in insulating materials so where we'll use insulating material okay while separating the laminations separating the laminations while separating the laminations we will use thin impregnated paper okay thin impregnated paper and varnish china clay like that these these are the varnish clay these are some insulating materials okay uh, while separating the laminations and uh, we'll use enamel paint for enamel paint for copper winding okay so uh, in this also uh, with this insulation also some losses will occur okay so these insulating losses are also called a dielectric losses dielectric losses okay so we will discuss about iron losses and copper losses in a separate video okay thank you